Here we have Mar from Valencia in Spain, showing us her forward outside three turns. Let me start by congratulating Mar on her pretty good looking forward outside three turns on both legs. The hardest of all transitions are these because they're on one leg only. She's successfully got the down up down motion, which helps her unweight the heel wheels so she can flip to backwards. She's obviously put in a lot of work and done all of the training progressions. She's learnt these three turns in my advanced how to skate online course. So I just have two polishing corrections to make things just a little bit smoother. So Mars three turns are a little bit too straight. And I don't mean the knee, I mean straight line. Three turns are supposed to be in a curved circle shape. That's how they get their name. And Mars is a little bit like a 180 degree flip on a straight line, which is actually more difficult and risky as it means she's more time up on one wheel and more distance to flip the heel around. So in a way, she's doing a harder version here. On skates, I'll demo how to change this for more curve. Secondly, notice Mar's upper body after the three turn. Her arms continue to rotate after she's exited the transition. Ideally, arms should be what I call hugging the circle and then not changing after the three turn. Notice how her trailing arm on both sides moves out to the side, so her body doesn't remain in the correct sideways backwards position, but it turns to face squarely backwards. So this means she can't see where she's going after the three turn. Here are my homework suggestion points for Mar. Okay, so Mar's homework for the forward outside three turn. First of all, amazing that she's doing it on both legs. That is not easy. And let me just explain what I mean by the straight line 180 degree flip and the three turn circle curve shape. So here's the straight line 180 flip. So I'm literally going to go in a straight line and then hop all the way around on one foot. Yeah, I'll do that on the other leg. So straight line, hop. It's a straight line transition on the toe, right? A three turn has this shape, yeah? Hence why it's called a three. And it means that you have a curve going in on the outside edge and an inside edge curve coming out. Now I'll try that on the other leg. Okay, so you can see that the curve is what lends itself to that shape, okay? So the reason why the curve is um, easier is when you end up coming into the middle of the circle, the amount that you have to flip ends up being just 90 degrees and the straight line 180 is a whole 180 flip. So does that make sense that the curve ends up being slightly easier? What's difficult about it is the outside edge. So Mara's already done the, probably the training of the toe roll assisted in a circle, yeah? And this becomes the in part of the three, yeah? And that's the progression of toe roll in, toe roll out, okay? So that's really the, that's the difference between the three turn and the straight line flip. So I think, Mar, I would suggest that you've probably done lots and lots of toe roll practice, okay? So I would suggest doing a three turn from a T static position. Rotate your body so you're hugging the circle you're about to go on, okay? And then just push and turn. So you're only gonna do a couple of meters of edge and then turn, yeah? And on the other foot, I'm gonna go that way. So hug the circle with your arms and then push and flip, okay? So that exercise, you know, I think is kind of useful for getting that three shape position. Okay, so now let's talk about the upper body. So I said in the analysis that when Mar has finished her three turn, you know, you go in hugging the circle, yeah? And when you come out, ideally we should still be hugging the circle and the body, upper body should be turned sideways, one arm where you've been, one arm where you're going. And what's happening with Mar is that she's going in in the right position and the minute she's finished her three turn, her body comes into square. Yeah, and now she can't see where she's going. Yeah, so in a way what happens is the rotation she's getting on the way in just continues like this. So she's going in and then it continues. And that can be a real problem because it means that, you know, when you finish the three turn, you're not looking where you're going. 
So I want you to really imagine and that first exercise of starting from the T and just pushing, hug the circle, keep this arm, your back arm, the trailing arm, keep it pointing there where you've been. Yeah, don't let it move and shift because once this arm moves, the other one will move too. Okay, does that make sense? So in the other direction, it would be the trailing arm I'm gonna focus on. I'm hugging the circle that I'm about to go on. Yeah, and after I finish, I stay in this position without letting this happen. Okay, so that can be, maybe Mar, you need to go back to the toe roll assisted version just to work on the body so that it doesn't move after your transition, after your three turn. Okay, but again, very small little points and in general you've got all of the aspects of the three turn and the fact you're doing both legs is fantastic. So I hope this helps all of you who are learning three turns. Um, this forward outside three turn is also known as the lion transition by um, Leon Basin and Sean Unwin, etc. Um, the flow skating uh, people are renaming these things, but essentially it's a three turn. Okay, so enjoy your practice. I hope these help and uh, see you next time for some more student analysis. Take care, bye-bye. Oh, I forgot to say, please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. That way you'll be notified when I put up new videos and do share and hit the like button if you like what you're seeing. Um, comments are down below. I try and answer as many as I can. Good luck with your practice. See you later.